Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be studying class 10 geometry chapter number 3 circle. In this video we will be studying about two theorems that is converse of tangent theorem and tangent segment theorem. Okay, so uh, tangent theorem we have already done in the previous video. Link will be given in the description box. Today we will be studying converse of tangent theorem. So theorem the statement states a line perpendicular to a radius a line perpendicular to a radius at the at its point of the circle is a tangent to the circle okay so that's the ulta of the tangent theorem the converse has been given the statement also states that only now what has been given so this is the diagram where m is the midpoint mn is the radius line l is supposed to be the tangent and this is the extended line that we have to show Okay, so M is the center of the circle segment M N is the radius that only I have explained. So this is what has been given in the diagram also. Now line L is perpendicular to M N at point N that you all have to mention it over here perpendicular. Therefore, it's forming a 90 degree wala angle. Now what we have to prove we have to prove that line L is a tangent to the circle. Okay, so this we have to prove that it is a tangent to the circle. Take any point P other than N on the line L, draw segment MP. So you all have to take this MP and take this point anywhere on the tangent and you all have to join with it with the center so that it will look like this. Okay, so a triangle will be formed. Now you will see that MNP where N is a right angle. So all the purpose of drawing this segment is to show that it is a right angle triangle all right now mp is the hypotenuse as it's been seen in the diagram also mp is greater than mn it is been visible also because it is slightly greater see from here till here it is slightly greater than mn okay so therefore they have mentioned it in this way segment mn is the radius point p can't be on the circle okay so point p we cannot take anywhere on the circle we have to join the tangent therefore you will have to mention this statement also whereas mn is the radius whereas it is joining the tangent and to the circle also no other point except n of line l is on the circle now you will see if you draw in numerous uh, numerous segment no other will be forming the segment mn the way it is it will not be formed only mn will be 90 degree which will be joining the circle as well as the tangent at point n even if you all do, draw any other segment it will not join the tangent and the circle at the same point as it is shown in mn that's the main purpose that is the main converse of tangent theorem okay so therefore L line L intersects the circle at only one point it has been proved that tangent will touch the circle only at one point therefore line L is the tangent of the circle isn't it easy to prove children that means only one point that is MN will be the uh, point where the tangent will be joining the circle as well as the radius so only a tangent can join circle at a single point no other point even if you'll draw mn it is not going to join okay so this is the main purpose of showing the converse of tangent theorem this you all have to use while solving the examples now let's move on to the next uh, theorem that is tangent segment theorem okay so over here you will see two tangents are drawn now now only we have seen that a tangent can join a circle at only one point okay and this will be the radius this will be the radius so two tangents can be drawn over here see two tangents have been drawn over here and this is the extended line of the radius okay so tangent segment theorem what does the statement states tangent segment drawn from an external point so d you all have to take anywhere okay you all can take anywhere and you all have to draw two tangents such that they are joining two different points of the circle okay from an external point to the circle are congruent and it should look that both the tangents are congruent to each other observing the figure uh, write given and prove you all have to write given and prove so it is very easy to write given and prove pd is the tangent 
BQ is the tangent, A is the center of the circle. Okay, this is what is been given. What we have to prove, we have to prove that PD and PQ is concurrent. All right, that we have to prove. So I have already orally I have show, told you all what you all have to write in given and prove. So you all can write it. Now this is the construction that is construct a radius AP. Okay, so you all have to join this AP in this way, children. You all have to draw a dotted line over here. Okay, so this is the construction that you all have to show. This is the radius of the circle. Okay, so AQ and AP you all have to join, join complete the following proof of the theorem. So this has been given in short in order to, I don't know why they have given it this way. But given I have shown you all, whatever is been given, you all have to write it. This is supposed to be the construction that draw AP and AQ such that they are joining the uh, tangent to a circle at point P and Q respectively. Okay, now the proof comes. Over you will see that two triangles are being formed. Over here 90 degree angle is formed. Over here 90 degree angle is formed because of the perpendicular uh, drawn on from the center to the circle on the tangent. Okay, so two triangles will be formed PAD and QAD. Okay, PAD and QAD are the two triangles that are being drawn over here which is visible in which segment PA is concurrent to which QA. Okay, so it is a fill in the blank. You all can fill in the blank also. Your over here, you all have to write QA radius of the same circle. Segment AD is concurrent to segment AD. Segment AD is concurrent to segment AD because they are same. Okay, seg same segment of the circle drawn on the tangent. Then angle A. P D is equal to angle A Q D is equal to 90 degree which is a tangent theorem okay so as I said these two are supposed to be 90 degree okay just now we have done that when we draw a perpendicular on the tangent from the center of the circle to the radius uh, it forms a radius also and it forms a 90 degree angle so therefore it is a tangent theorem now we have got three proofs therefore we can say that PAD is concurrent to PAQ by which test SAS test or SSA test okay so therefore segment PD is concurrent to DQ it's as simple as that so I hope this tangent theorem is clear to everyone this same figure is been given in the uh, exercise also you all have to solve it using the tangent theorem directly you all can mention it from the tangent theorem and solve the remaining questions so in the next video i will be solving uh, practice set number 3.1 in which all the theorems that is tangent theorem converse of tangent theorem tangent segment theorems these theorems will be used we have to apply it in the problem sum so see you in the next video till then take care bye